Hello, my name is Silvino Di Bernardo. I am a Spanish and English teacher with over 20 years of experience in three different countries. I have taught in several levels and I also have experience as a school administrator. In this video, you will see one of the Spanish classes that I'm currently teaching and also a video I recorded in Spanish to train teachers in my district in the creation of online assessments. You have to complete this by today. Pay attention, I will be passing this. Meanwhile, I'm there cooking, okay? So let's start, and uh, we need to know today cuál es la comida, la comida típica en los países de habla hispana. What is the typical food of Hispanic countries, okay? There are many misunderstandings about Hispanic food. And many people say, many people confuse Mexican food, which is one type of Hispanic food, with the rest. And actually, in my first period, I had a student that said, I don't like spicy food, please don't do spicy food. Not all Hispanic food is spicy. It can be spicy if you want. There are some parts, most parts of Mexico in where, where they have uh, spicy food, but it's not what happens in all regions of Mexico and of course not all Hispanic countries. Okay, We have different uh, ingredients, different ways of preparing things, and what you will see here is first information, general information about the uh, food in Hispanic countries but also, also, the way to prepare some of them. Actually, we're preparing arepas today. You will see a video with the explanation, but also, I think I showed you this before. This is the package that we need to buy for this. It's called harina pan that was, actually, I will tell you a little later, it was invented in the late 50s, the beginning of the 60s in my country because I will show you also how it was prepared before. Before this, the process was a little hard. And this, as I told you before, is compacted sugar. This is called papelón, piloncillo, raspadura. In my country, it's called pape, oh, it's not there, papelón. Uh, and what you do with this is you melt it in water. In the video, you will see is hot water. Don't do it in hot water. That's we don't need to do it in, in, cold, in hot water. It can be in regular water. And after that, you can add lemon or lime juice. And it's good. You, you'll have it there. It's cold. It's good. And especially for hot days, it's really good. Okay? So let's start on this. And Hispanic heritage month is a perfect tacos and quesadillas have to be cuisine is diverse with different ingredients and flavors depending on the region of Mexico. So you could see again that we have uh, no different time of type of dishes in our countries, but we have many similarities. But again, try to avoid stereotypes. Hispanic food does not equal Mexican food, and Hispanic food is not all spicy. You can add spices if you want, but not it's not exactly the same. So this is one of the reasons reasons why we wanted to do this, okay? That I wanted to do this with you, uh, but also I wanted to show you part of my culture with the arepas, which is something very traditional. And you see, we have still some time to spare. So you have the time to complete this. And uh, so after we finish this part, as we usually do, you can, you know, relax a little bit because we are about to go to lunch. Yep lo pueden compartir con el resto de, la, de los compañeros del departamento y todos nos beneficiamos. Ya está, ya podemos ir de nuevo. Acá está, va a salir la misma imagen, pero fíjense que esta parte es distinta, porque aquí lo que está usted haciendo es publicar el test para sus estudiantes. Oye, pero no lo consigo, ¿dónde está? Bueno, resulta que lo acabamos de hacer, recuerden que lo acabamos de hacer. Thank you for your attention. I hope I can join your team.